Oh, okay. I said I had no connection, that I could not go live, that I could record a video. Let's get this thing in here. All right. All righty. Putting away my lovely case of shadows. All right, we gotta get some moisturizer on this face. My face is so dry, it feels like it's pulling. Cheers, the kombucha is back. <laughs> All right. Good morning. Hey, Amy, good morning. So, yeah, I'm like, I got this teal sweater that I'm wearing. And I've really been wanting, oh, this thing is, I've really been wanting to uh, do some kind of look with, I think it's called cynical, I think. So, here we are. Oh, moisturizing my face. Oh, that feels so good. Good morning. Hey, Robin. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Tiffany. I'm starting to run out of moisturizer. You hear it? <clears throat> Whew. So tonight is the night again that we do the wonderful, lovely Retin-A. I put a little bit, I still have some tanning spray. I loaded up on it before they sold out. So I used some tanning spray on my face last night. So I have a little bit of color. Good morning. Hey, Anna. Hey, Dan. Good morning, Candy. Hey, Penny. Good morning. So I'm just trying to get this moisturizer to kind of soap up into my skin. Okay. So y'all want to see what we're going to do? I got my laptop slash tablet out. Let me fold it over here for a hot minute. So we're looking at... Can you all see this? We're going to try... The light ring is reflecting off of it. I'm going to try this this morning. Can you see that? This is my inspiration today. So we're going to give that a go and see what we come up with. So I'm going to leave it sitting here so I can look at it and use it as a cheat sheet. I wish I had eyelashes like this chick. Good morning. Hey, Erin. Good morning. All right, let's get going. The time has come. Let's put on some spray. Mm. They say you should do an X then a T with the spray so you don't waste it. Let's let that dry. I love teal too, Brenda. And that cynical color, you all want a sneak peek? You want to see what I picked? So we're going with an all matte look this morning. There will be no shimmers. So we've got cynical, gullible, gingerly. I'm just going to go ahead and admit this right now. I'm slightly obsessed with Gingerly right now. Like, I have a love affair with this color. I know it's not a spring color, but, like, deal with it. Like, I have, like, a love affair with the pumpkin spice. It's like a delayed reaction. And this is pessimistic. You all know I usually use optimistic. Excuse me. The kombucha is giving me back backlash. But this is a matte color. So we're going to give this a go this morning and see if we can come up with this look. Um, Rebel, I don't know what is wrong with him. Good morning. Can I give you a hair lesson one day? You know, you're like the second person in a day who has asked me about my hair. And I promise you all, it'll probably be this weekend. But the next time I wash my hair, I will come on live and we'll do the whole hair. The whole are you losing your mind? I think he's lost his mind. He's like back here going, rawr, rawr, rawr. are you okay? Do you need some medication for that? You might need some Benadryl. He's been itching and scratching, going crazy. But we will do the hair lesson. Squirrel, Rebel distracted me. Um, today I used a different size barrel. I usually use um, the one and a quarter inch barrel on my hair. And my new hairstylist told me that maybe I needed to use, <laughs> use a one inch barrel so I've been using that but I kind of like how loose like this looks I'm kind of digging this look so we're gonna go with it today hey Anna good morning that's okay you can watch the replay do you know anything to make the pico virus better girl I don't even know what the pico virus is I gotta google that honestly oh I don't even know what that is girl 
No clue. So, anyways, kombucha. Cassie, good morning. The blonde ambition is back. Uh, Cassie and I talk about blonde hair. She's my Kentucky person. Okay, let's put some foundation on. Y'all know right now I'm mixing taffeta and velour because velour seems too light and taffeta seems too dark. And I did put on a little bit of, um, what am I trying to say? I did put on a little bit of tanning spray on my face last night. I had some left over. I ordered some extra for myself. And no, do not ask me for it because I am not giving it giving it to you all. I did not share the tanning spray. It was my favorite. They discontinued it. It is what it is. So I'm going to use it up like nobody's business. I have a little stash going on. So I've got a little bit of sun. You can see my neck is whiter. I sprayed my neck last night, but anyhow, let's get this going. Pico. I have no idea what that is, girl. I'm sorry. I don't treat children ever. I hate treating children in medicine. I love children, but I don't like treating children in medicine. So I have no experience with with kid viruses and all that stuff. I'm uh, I, I like the old peoples. I like treating the elderly. So I'm more familiar with all of that stuff. So that one I can't help you on. If you're asking me questions about your kids and their their illnesses and their rashes and all that stuff. That's way out of my jurisdiction. I am not good with pediatrics. I'll look it up in a hot minute, though. You know. I've never heard of it either. So, you, uh, they may have just made that up. <laughs> I'm messing with you. You know that, right? <laughs> He's got Pico de Gallo virus. Because <laughs> he ate too many tacos. <laughs> I'm being mean. I'm, I'm really being, I'm just being silly, really. That's funny. Pico de Gallo virus. They made that up for real. <laughs> I know a lot, a good bit of medical stuff, but I will. And part of the reason that I don't do real good with the whole kid thing because my stepdaughter is notorious for messaging me and asking me stuff too about the girls. And um, I've never had kids, so I haven't had to deal with all this crap. So I don't treat kids, I've never had kids. So the kid stuff is just not my, 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 not my forte, I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't gonna pretend. Hey Carol, good morning, hey Steph. Steph, I ain't seen you in a while, how are you doing girl? All right, let's do some concealer. Hi, Lily. Look who came to join us this morning. It's Lily, girl. Lily, come here. Let them see how cute you are in your sweater. They need a bath. Back. Come here. No, get down, Rebel. You got to cut. You got to be shown. She's a little camera shy. You all know she's blind. This is my baby girl, Lily. Say hi, Lily. Say hi. Show them how sweet you are. Say I'm the sweetest girl. I'm so sweet. Say hey. She's the dog that hugs you back. I carry her around the house. And she, <laughs> Rebel, don't be jealous. He's so jealous of her. He really is. But she's blind now. And she has a hard time getting around. And so, of course, you know, why would you not baby her? Look how cute she is in her little pink polka dot sweater. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this dog. I'm serious. Like, if anything happens to her... Or when, uh, when something happens to her, I guess is the right word. It's not going to be pretty. Y'all going to see me like being a hot mess up in here. Okay. Let's spray this blending bud and we are going to get her done. Yes, little baby Lily girl. You know she's the sweetest thing ever, Danielle. She is. She's the best girl. She is the best girl in the whole wide world little girl <laughs> I've got some mucus this morning did you all hear that oh gosh <clears throat> I've uh got some serious mucus this morning sorry about that okay 
So we're gonna blend this down. <coughs> All right, so we're blending. We're giving ourselves a little bit of highlight here is pretty much what we're doing. This hair is sticking into the forehead there. Good morning. Jeremy, I see you creeping. My brother's creeping me watching me do my makeup makeup this morning. He just he probably laid up in bed on some medicine because he had a root canal yesterday. I know I would be. I would not be dealing with all that. That is, root canals are no fun. Oh, mercy. So today I've got to go speak to one of the places that I used to go and treat people when I was doing house calls. Did you all know I used to do house calls? I did. And they want me to come and talk about high blood pressure. So I've got to go talk about high blood pressure to a group of people today. Hey, Micah. Hey, Rebecca. Good morning. So, yeah. So let's get this done because I've got work to do today. And I've got to go talk to these people about blood pressure. I've got a busy day today. I've got a heavy day today at work. And of course, you know, I didn't get as much done yesterday as I wanted to at work. All right, so we blended all this in. And Rebel's aggravating Lily, wanting her to play. And she's blind and can't see him. And she's like, no. Okay. So we blended. Really? Okay. We're looking good now. We're looking alive. Looking alive. Yeah, Rebel. Looking alive. All right, let's do some contour this morning. Hey, Rebecca. You wish I could do house calls again? You know, I hear that a lot. Uh, everybody liked me doing the house calls. That was extremely convenient. <laughs> The problem is, is that I have to have a supervising physician to help me to oversee what I do. So that's the problem. Or I would just, I would, I would probably start up my own side business and do some house calls on the side. I would just be like on call by, to like certain people. I would just take on a certain group of clients. Be cash only. It would be great. That is a hot mess that I just made. Do you see that? It's a lot of mess there. All right, whatever. We'll we'll blend it. Blend it. And the heat just kicked on, so I've got this sweater on. You all know I'm going to start sweating here. I'll have to turn on the fan. Let's put a little bit of color up near. You know you can contour your nose, too. I just thought of that, but I don't really want to do it right now. I'll teach you all that another time. Okay, let's blend. Let's get out the blending brush, the elf one, the one that I love so much, this thing. Let's blend, Let's get it all blended down. And what I do is I just, I just tap my brush once or twice and then go, go for it. All right, you have a ton of questions for me. <laughs> You were diagnosed later in life of onset type 1 diabetes, and you're having a terrible time with it. You wake up through the night with the worst dry mouth, which is probably because your sugar's up. I also wake up every morning, and my numbers are between 280 and 550. Um, okay, Amy. Well, let's talk about that. <laughs> Tanya, only certain people. I know, right? I couldn't give everybody my cell phone number because it would be bad, right? So, um, anyways... Amy, you um, tell me what kind of insulin you're on. So are, I'm assuming that you're only on insulin because you're a type 1. And are you on an insulin pump? You know, my husband's a type 1. And they just came out with this new um, meter that attaches underneath your skin. And that meter um, actually will read your glucose. I don't know how often it does, but it is amazing. And if it's high, it will alert you so that you will take some insulin. Um, 
that's terrible that you were just diagnosed with diabetes. Yeah, you, you probably feel terrible. The thing that you've got to get in your mind when you have type 1 diabetes is one, you've got to count your carbohydrates, and two, you have got to not be afraid of insulin, especially if your, insul if your glucose is really, really high. If you have to dial up the insulin, okay, the long-acting insulin and the short-acting insulin to get it down, by all means, do it because you having huge fluctuations in your glucose up and down, like if it goes from 60 to 500, 60 to 500, and you're doing that all the time, it's really, really hard on your body. It's really, really hard on your um, organs. It's hard on your eyes, your kidneys, all that. You have to get some sort, obtain some sort of steady state, and I know you feel tired all the time. So, yeah, you've got to dial up that insulin so we need to find out if you want to private message me or even call me if you'll private message me we can talk by phone and i will try to help you um i will say that i am pretty good with this particular this subject is not like pico de gallo this is something that i know about because like i said my husband is a type one he's been on a pump um we've done just about everything that i can think of uh with him and his diabetes so yeah I get it okay we're gonna use a stick this morning the benevolent stick we're going high shine today kids look at that love these sticks if you don't want to buy the powder get the stick it'll last forever this is really good too if you have aging skin because this is a cream to powder and the cream to powder is not going to show wrinkles as bad um, it's going to keep that moisture in your skin. It's going to make you look nice and hydrated. So, this Benevolent is my favorite color, but the Iridescent is also another good color. And then the next color up is Lustrous. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Ivy. Good morning. Let's do some brows. Okay. I've already lost my picture over here. I'm never going to get to these eyes because we we talking up a storm this morning. All right. Yes, I know about the diabetes. Okay. Let's do some brows, pencil. It's very, very fine little tip on this thing. That's why it gives you such a good looking brow. I love the way our pencils make our brows look. And the pencils is what we came out with first. And then they jumped in and came out with the palette, which I like the palette and the brush with the palette is the bomb diggity. You gotta have the brush if you've got the palette. But for some reason, I like the color I get on my brows out of this pencil. Sometimes I feel like the palette makes it too dark. I like need a color between the palette. My nose is running something terrible this morning. Tanya, good morning. How are you, girl? Hey, hey. We're going to do a teal look this morning. It's going to be a little bit different than what I usually do. No pump. <clears throat> You're on no vlog and love mirror. Oh, Lord. Amy, how many uh, units of Levamir are you taking and how many units of Novolog? And is it straight Novolog or is it a mix? Probably it's straight Novolog. I am probably a bigger fan of Humalog. Um, I can't tell you why, but um, your insurance might not pay for it. It might be more expensive. Um, but tell me how many units of Levamir you're on. And are you seeing an endocrinologist? Are you seeing a specialist? Or are you just going to your family doctor? That's the next question. And how many times a day are you checking your glucose? That's the other thing. Are you staying on top of it since it's volatile right now? You know, I don't know if you know this or not, but when you're counting carbs, especially as a diabetic, the, the rule of thumb for starting is one unit of insulin for every 15 carbs. And one loaf of bread has about 15 carbs in it. So as a female, you are not technically supposed to be eating more than about 40, 30 to 45 carbs per meal. So if you eat two, a sandwich, that's your whole like carb count for that meal. Um, this is like really crazy and we're like getting really technical with the carb counting and stuff here, but you got to get, you got to learn how many carbs are in stuff 
And once you know how many carbs are in stuff, and once we figure out what your insulin to carb ratio is, because yours may be higher. Like Bill's is one to eight. So for every eight carbs, he needs two units of insulin. Um, or for every 15 carbs, he needs two units of insulin. So he needs a unit of insulin for about every eight carbs. So once you can figure out the carb to insulin ratio, then it's pretty easy to figure out how much how much insulin you're going to need. You're a veteran, okay. Oh, you haven't used the brow pencil in a while, Erin? This brow pencil is my boo, girl. I love this thing. The brow pencil is the bomb diggity. Are you using the brow palette, Erin? I'm assuming that's what you use. So, okay. We've got something going on right here. I don't know what that is. Let's get this brow pencil finished up. Me and Kelly both um, tend to use the brow pencil a lot. Um, I don't know why. I was using the palette nonstop for a while, but this pencil gives such a good looking brow. I don't know. Especially like this fade right here. You know, the ombre look. All right, let's get this eye done. We've been talking about teal all morning. All right, let's put on some primer on the wide balls. Y'all, I got this primer, you see. It's, it's, we're getting low on it, but I've had it since convention. They gave it to us for free when we went to convention. Um, they reformulated the primer this year. The new reformulated version is really, really good. Um, but it lasts forever. Like, that's one thing I can say about our products. Air products last a long time. I hear some people that will say, oh, I don't know if I can afford that. But girls, a bottle of foundation, you're going to pay 39 bucks for it. But it's going to last you a good three to four months. So it's the same as CoverGirl. It's 10 bucks a month. Because I know you're buying a bottle of CoverGirl just to cover all that hot mess. And it's breaking your face out. So stop. Like, just buy the unique. Okay, 20 of Levamir twice a day. Okay, so Amy, you may need to drastically increase your, increase your Levamir. You might want to go to 30 of Levamir twice a day. And then you might want to do at least 15 to 20 of Novolog with meals. But I would, I, what I would do is um, I would check your, um, I would check your, I would go ahead and take your 10 units or 15 units before meals, but I would check your glucose an hour after you eat and see where you're at and then plug that sliding scale in. You can get it down, but you, it sounds like to me, if you're running that high, you're going to need more Levamir. It's just not enough for you. It's not enough. Okay. Yeah, the ratio, you will figure that out. It, you can kind of play with it. You can count your carbs up. And then you can see, you can follow the 15 to 1 rule. If your glucose is still running high, then maybe you need to back up to the 12 to 1 rule. And then you can go back to the 10 to 1 rule. And then the 8 to 1 rule until you kind of figure it out. That's how they figure out how much insulin you need with a, a the insulin pump. Okay. So we're going to start out with pessimistic. We're going to use that up near the brow area. So this is a mat. Okay. This is a mat. I don't know how well that's showing up. Pessimistic. So we're going to put this right up here against the brow. And then I'm going to go in with, I hope all this is making sense to you, Amy. With Y'all are getting like a full diabetes lesson. Hey, Anita, good morning. Hey, you check it six times a day. Amy, if it's running that high, you may need to check it more, girlfriend. I, I know I, I hate to tell you that, but... I mean, like, literally, you got to stay on top of it because you're going to feel like a turd all day if it's running that high. You're probably, you might even need to take more um, Lantus during the day um, or right before you go to bed um, because it's, it's peaking at night. It's not enough to cover you. You know what I'm saying? You have to play with it a little bit, but don't be afraid to play with it. Slowly step up your Levamir. You're definitely not getting enough, and you need to make an appointment with an endocrinologist for reals. Okay, let's do this crease. I'm looking for a decent brush to use the crease. Um, I don't know if I like this brush. This is a Sonia Kushnick brush. It's not my favorite, but we're going to try to lay this gingerly. Instead of using the brush that we used yesterday, we're going to use gingerly. Tap that on there, and we're going to lay it in this crease, okay? 
I'm obsessed with Ginger Lee right now. I don't know about this brush, y'all. All right, let's drag this out here a little bit on the corner. Once again, I don't know about this brush. This brush, I don't even know what kind of brush this is. I don't even know what it's for. The post nasal drip is real today, y'all. Like the mucus is bad. Yeah, we'll, 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 I'll help you, Amy. Absolutely. We'll play with it. You don't want it to go too low, obviously, but you'll figure it out. You can't be afraid to play with it. You can't run around with a glucose like that. It's too high. It's too high. It's too high. And when you learn how to count your carbs and you start doing all that, um, hopefully you've seen a diabetic educator as well. They are really good about helping you learn how to count carbs. What you need to do is either get a carb counter or get uh, MyFitnessPal on your phone. And before you eat anything, plug it in to your phone. But as a rule, if you'll stick between like 30, 40 carbs per meal, if you'll kind of stick to that rule, you'll do a lot better. So you literally need to have something green on your plate, a little bit of a carb, and some meat. Good morning, Lindsay. Lindsay, how's school going? Lindsay's in nursing school. Y'all give her a hand. She's, she's getting her done. Okay. This brush is not so bad. So we're back at Ginger Lee again this morning. Okay, and so here's what we're gonna do. So this chick has a little bit of the teal underneath and they used it on the lid. So we're gonna do the teal now. Let me find a brush. All my brushes are dirty. I need to clean some brushes. Here, let's clean a brush. Let's clean it. Speaking of, do y'all see this? This is Unique Brush Cleaner. When it cleans your brushes, it leaves them dry and it cleans them intently. I just got three in yesterday. They were from Christmas, they were on back order. They let us have them, yada, yada, yada. And so if anybody would like a unique brush cleaner, it is the bomb diggity of brush cleaners. Oh, good, Lindsay. Okay, so we're going to use, what is this called? Is it cynical? I can't remember. Oh, let me tell you. Yes, cynical. We're going to use cynical on the lid, okay? So let's load this brush. Got the brush loaded. We're going to hit the lid with cynical. This teal. Oh, this is pretty. Dig in the cynical. So let's blend it out some. It looks, it's the exact same color as my, my sweater. Identical. It's crazy. All right, let me look at this picture again. Yep, and they actually did a little bit of brown in this crease, too. So this transition area, you get the gingerly, but there's deep in the crease there, there's a little bit of brown as well. So we're going to try this look. I'm going to post the picture, the side-by-side. -side. Y'all can tell me how I did. So This brush is not the best. This is an elf brush, and you can definitely tell the hairs on the brush. It's just not blending this down very well. We might have to go back over it. Oh, there goes my little mail lady. She's not stopping by my house today. I guess there's no unique packages for anybody coming today. Yesterday, I got hair care stuff. That was good. All right. So this is what we're getting with this look. This is a different kind of look. I usually don't paint just my lid a dark color. Okay. So we need a smudge brush now. Really, what's the matter? I'm looking for a smudge brush or an angled shadow brush or something. Okay, here's one. Where's my angled shadow brush? That's not it. 
Here it is. Okay. So we're going to use this angled brush. We're going to take this cynical and we're going to go right up underneath the eyelid. Okay. Yep, she fades it all the way over. So this is like a, sh this is like a, um, a line. It's the liner shader brush. That's what it is. We're gonna smudge this out a bit though. We're gonna go back in and smudge this out. So we just need to get close to the eyelid here. Don't y'all love going on Pinterest and finding makeup looks and trying to recreate them? Does anybody else do that? Oh my goodness. All right, so I look a little cray cray right now. So let's go back through. Actually, I'm just gonna use this smudge brush, the one that I put on my white with all the time. Let's smudge this out underneath. Okay. I'm gonna make it look nice and kind of There we go. This is that e.l.f. brush too. This is those with those glass tips. I really love some of these little e.l.f. brushes. The ones that are kind of like not a dollar that are a little bit more expensive. All right. So we got that smudged out underneath. Y'all know I usually don't do underneath because I feel like my eyes are, I don't know, it's weird. Thanks. Okay. So that is cleaned off. We'll clean that off a bit. Okay. So now we got, I need to leave this out. We might need that. Okay. Now we want to use a crease brush. Let me find my crease brush. Here we go. So we're going to go back in and this is gingerly right here. And we're going to tap that on the crease brush. And we're going to go right here into the crease. And you're going to darken that up. Okay. So we're going to kind of darken this here in the crease. Because she's got, you know, that, that transition area there is a little darker. You see how that looks? Yep, that's what we got going on there. We're about to master this. You watch, <laughs> you watch Pinterest. You do get good ideas from Pinterest. But the problem with Pinterest is, is like, here's the thing. Somebody was saying this yesterday. You go on to Pinterest to look for something and then it's like, it's like squirrel. Like you get sucked down this big, long, like horrible, I don't know, I can't explain it. Like dark, dark world of like pins and like one thing leads to another and like, Two hours later, you've been looking for a recipe and you done pinned 200 bedspreads and makeup looks and fashion ideas and ways to get your lawn greener and <laughs> all this stuff. You like this, Amy? All right, I'm going to go back in here with this brown a little bit more. And then we're going to work on this lid. I don't like the way that... Um, the teal turned out and it's partly because of the brush that I used. So we're going to go find a different brush. Let's see if this brush does a little bit better. This one is more like hair. So I'm going to go back and hit this teal a little bit here. Yeah, this brush is going to do a little bit better for me. I'm telling you the way that your shadows turn out highly depend on the brush that you use. If you don't use decent brushes, it ain't gonna look right. So I'm having to go back a little bit with this teal and go back in and I'm darkening out this little edge here. We're gonna smoke it up a little bit. Smoking it up. This look is fun, y'all. I'm kind of digging this look too. Okay, so now here's where we go back. So we need to blend just a little bit, okay? I don't want to over blend because I really don't want to lose this gingerly that I've got going on here, which looks so stinking pretty. Oh my gosh. So let's blend this a little bit. We may stick a little bit more of that gingerly back in there. 
but I want to go back and hit the top here with that pessimistic, which is the white color that I use. What's the matter, Lily? So we want to go back in and make that pop. Y'all, I'm feeling like a real professional makeup artist today. This is, this is good looking. And I would have never put these colors together. But I'm digging the look. I think we probably need to keep this neutral now. I think what I'm going to do, because we have this gorgeous teal liner, is Lily, go lay down. Come here. Hold on. Let me help her. Come here. Come on. Lay down here. Come here. Come on. Lily. Lily. Come on. Lay up in there. She keeps walking into the back of my chair because she can't find where to go. Bless it. All right. I know, Google and makeup tutorials, you know, we all do that. We all Google stuff. I, I YouTube stuff. That's how I've learned a lot of what I've done is YouTube and Google. Why not, right? That's how you learn. And then watch other presenters put their makeup on too. I've learned some really good tips from some other presenters who are just, you know, better at makeup than I am. I'm digging this look. Okay. So, I'm going to go back in with the gingerly one more time and make sure we don't lose that. Blend that out some up into here. Oh, I love this a million times. This is so pretty with that teal. Yes, hunty. So, I want to soften that down a little bit. I'm just using the same brush to kind of soften this look. You have to kind of go back in and and blend it and mix it and oh this is great I love this okay so let's go back in with air brush that I cleaned off I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight in the corner of my eye with a white if you have a white iridescent color or something like that you want to kind of hit that inner corner and brighten it up a little bit I always do. If you have a white eyeliner, you can use that. Um, there's lots of options. Okay. So we brightened that up. And so now we're going to use that teal eyeliner. My nose is running terribly today. Okay. Which is called Presumptuous. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on the lid. And the reason I'm going to use this is it's going to give me a really dark color against the lash line. It's, the eyeliner is not going to stick out. It's going to kind of blend in, but it's going to accentuate this teal on the lid. Okay. So we got that. Now the other option is you could use black with this, which I think is what they did. I don't know if I like, I don't feel like this teal is dark enough, but it really brightened it up. Yeah, she used black. Let's go back over it with a little bit of black. We'll just tight line it a little bit. A really thin line. Yeah, that's going to give me a nice... So this, this look here, y'all, is really me stepping out of what I would call my comfort zone today. Because my comfort zone is all about blues and, I mean, uh, browns and these types of colors. we got to figure out what we're going to do with this lip, too. We probably should keep a nude lip since the eye. Um, maybe, maybe something with a little bit of pink in it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's do our, our lashes. Hello. Okay. I'm going to curl. All right, this girl's lashes are ridiculous. I do have a secret for you all though. Do you wanna know my secret? I bought some fake lashes and they are gorgeous. They're mink. Who's heard of red aspen? Let me show you these. I'm not gonna put them on this morning. These are the Priyas. Oh, they're made of mink. They are so pretty on. And you know what? This is the glue that you apply it with. And there's a little lash applicator. This adhesive is the bomb diggity. It doesn't leave all that thick tacky stuff. Like, 
you know, some of these other lashes do. It goes on really thin, and you paint it on like, um, it's like a little fingernail polish thing when you paint it on. So you're not squeezing it out of a tube in big globs like most lash applicator. Terrible. I don't, I don't like that lash applicator glue. It, it makes a hot mess. But this one, um, this particular company makes like high-end lashes. And they are absolutely gorgeous. So one day I may just go live and we may do the full on like glam look. We may do the lashes, the hair, the everything. So I, I went to an online party and got sucked into the lashes. And holy moly, this light is really bright. Oh, it's so much better. Can y'all see this look a little bit better? Without that light like electrifying my face. I'm sitting in front of the window. We get some good natural light in front of this window, but the sun does not face this side of the house in the morning. So we don't get the best, best light, but it is some good light. I'm gonna work this corner a little bit here. Okay, all oh, those lashes. Well, they give you this thing too. Let me see if I have it here. It's here somewhere. You get the, the applicator is what you've got to get and it holds them for you. It's curved so that it, you can set them right down on there. It's amazing. Like I, I've never been a fan of fake lashes. I don't mind the way they look, but like putting them on was the devil. I mean the devil. And, uh, I ain't even gonna lie, like, the glue, like I said, the glue would cake up on your eyelid and they would feel really heavy. And these lashes don't feel heavy either. So, um, yeah, that's great. All right, so let's go ahead and put on some 3D Fiber Lash Mascara, y'all. I'm digging this look today, digging it. Let's get these these fibers on there. We want our lashes to the bigger the hair and the longer the lashes, right? I'm all for all of those. And long live the south. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> I'm all about those things. Apple pie, southern heritage, long lashes, big hair. Bring it. Give me all of it. <laughs> I, I love big hair. They are much easier. I may, um, just, you know, just for the fun of it, we may go live one night and try to do it. I don't think I could wear them every day, though. Like, you know, like, as it, I like my, my mascara that we have here. And, you know, even just feeling something on your eye. It just It's just weird. It's a weird feeling. That's right. The higher the hair, the closer to God. That is right. That's what they say. That's how the old saying goes. The higher the hair, the closer to God. So give me all the big hair. Like I'm all about big hair. All right. Let's get this last layer of gel on these lashes because they're looking mighty good. I'm having another good lash day. I'm having more good lash. I really contribute good lash days to longer lashes from the lash serum they are definitely fuller too i've noticed that and the epic mascara really makes them look full i am not getting this kombucha down this morning i need to drink a little bit more of that okay let's do a lip can you all see this eye look <laughs> All right, let me um, get a drink, and then we're going to do a lip. I'm thinking this calls for upper class. That's exactly what jumps out at me. You know, upper class is my boo. Let me find the pouty lip liner. We need a nude lip with this. Okay, let's map the lips. Get them good and dry. Then put your lip liner on. Yeah. 
you could probably do a little bit of a a pinky color with this eye look as well I think that's what she did or was uh, was the eye oh, it's already kicked off um no I didn't see her eye I lied her lips aren't showing in the picture so Okay, let's put on some upper class lipstick and a little bit of lunar gloss maybe with that. Little toasty bronze here. I'm thinking I need a little bit of, where is it? Elegant on this. Mm. I love some elegant splurge cream shadow. You can use it for everything. All right. And then I'll probably pack my little lunar gloss with me. I could have just used this. Mm-mm-mm. I'm loving this look today. I feel sassy. Feeling sassy. Let's go back through and talk about what we got going on here. So, do you all think... Oh, let me close that. Get the lashes out. Do you all think it looks like the picture? Does it look like the picture? <laughs> all right. So let's talk about this look. So this morning, I just knocked over every lipstick I have. That's that's what we did this morning. All right. Let me pick these up. Oh, these are those powder lipsticks, which I still also love. Okay. This look is the bomb. I'm loving this look. Okay, so let's talk about this because right now, this month, okay, you get a customize your own quad palette in the uh, kudos, okay, and the epic mascara is included, and then you get a free um, liquid lipstick. So I, if you're going to pick a free liquid lipstick, I would probably pick Spry, which will be a good color. It looks a lot like this, or you could do Stellar or, um, that's not it. I'm trying to find what Stellar looks like. Yeah, Stellar. It's like a nude, a brown color. You could do that with this look. So there's a couple of the Splash Liquid Lipsticks that you could pick to go with this. But I like the... I ain't, I'm, I love the liquid lipsticks, but still my favorite are regular lipsticks. I always go back to those all the time. So an upper class is... I'm a slave to upper class. So let's go through this look and talk about what we did after I sprayed my face. Okay. So, we started out with moisturizer. You gotta have nice, smooth skin. Start out with moisturizer. It's got SPF 20 in it. Um, that's a renewing day cream. Um, I use a Behold Setting Spray as a, uh, a primer now. It's a lot lighter on your skin and it makes it feel a little less, um, maybe oily if you have oily skin. It's, it's a really good option. And then I use um, Air Liquid Touch Mineral Foundation. I mix my two shades in Velour and Taffeta. On the cheeks here, we did a contour with Malibu Bronzer. And then up on these cheeks here, the cheek cheeks, we used a supported blush. This is the one that I love. It's slowly going away. It's a limited edition color. It makes me sad. I went ahead and put a little extra highlight up on my cheek there. I used the Benevolent Stick today. Cream to shadow, cream to powder is always good for aging skin. It keeps the moisture in the skin. It's going to keep you from looking wrinkly, okay? So if you if you have wrinkles, you want to use a cream eyeshadow or a cream to powder foundation or stick, okay? Brows are medium brow palette. Medium brow pencil, I'm sorry. We used eye primer and then let's just talk. Hey, hey, hey. Let's talk about this eye. Oh my god. I'm digging this eye. This created this eye. So let's talk about it. So we used Pessimistic, which is a flat grayish color right up near the brow. We used Gingerly and laid it on really heavy in the transition area, okay? We jumped right to that lid and underneath we used the, the liner shader brush and smudged it out. We used Cynical and this is Gullible. And then I took Gullible and laid it in there right against that lid in that crease. Y'all, this look is 
the bomb diggity and I was scared. I was really scared. So you can get this in the kudos this month. You're basically paying 35 bucks for it. The whole kudos is $72. You get a, a three, uh, you get an epic mascara, this, and you get to pick your splash liquid lipstick. This usually runs $52. You get to customize it with any of our, I don't know, we got like 20, 30 colors now. It's something insane. Pick one, okay? The color combinations are infinite. I went ahead and put on a liner right against in the teal, and then I went back and did black. So we have two liners on anyway. You see it there. I used 3D mascara. I used Epic mascara, and then the lip. This is Leslie's go-to lip. I love upper class lipstick. It's like a a nude shimmer. It's it's so pretty. So I used a pouty lip liner underneath. I used the Nude Shimmer, which is upper class lipstick, and then I put a little bit of, um, I used a little bit of Splurge Cream Shadow on there in Elegant because I just like to mix it up. And then, of course, I'll take my Lucrative Lip Gloss. This is Lunar. has a cute little mirror on the side for easy application. And that's it. That is the look of the day. So that's what we're going with today. I've got these big old earrings on, and we are going to rock it out. And I've got to call my boss back because she was trying to call me while I was live, and I was like, oh, it's my boss. So I gotta find out what's going on with her and get to work today. So I've got a long day ahead. So lots to do, lots to do. Make sure you drink your kombucha. It's good for your gut. I don't know what Pico virus is, Pico de Gallo. And it was Amy Hatcher that I need to message right now. And we're gonna talk about your diabetes, okay? We're gonna get rid of that diabetes for you. We're gonna make you feel good. All right. Thank y'all for tuning in. I hope you love this look today as much as I'm loving it. I'm gonna post a few pictures when I'm done check it out. I'm going to do the side-by-side -side too. I'll put a side-by-side -side of the, well, it went away, the inspiration picture that I had up and um, we'll, there it is. We're going to put that up beside of it so you guys can kind of see where I got my inspiration from and you guys can grade me A, B, C, D, or F, okay? You guys have a great day. This is Leslie Powell signing off for the Cosm Cosmetic Clinic. If you guys see value in what I did today and you love this look, share it with your friends. That's how I get to know new people and that's how I grow my business. And uh, I would love to hook you up with a kudos this month. So if you would like to customize your own quad palette, let me know. We'll get you hooked up this month, okay? You guys have a great day and I'll see you later.